Major Slack Attack. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk this more Elden Ring. And we just finished uh, part one of the Gelmir Heroes side. What's it called? The Gelmir Heroes Grave. Going back there. I've noticed though that um, I have 16,000 runes and there's a boss fight, a duo boss fight, which requires the exact gear that we have equipped right now, which takes place back here at Redmain Castle, which will earn us another 16,000 and we can use that to level up again, which would be perfect because then we can empty out our, our wallet again, go back to um, Gelmir Hero's grave, which you, as you've seen is rather dangerous. Um, it's not the boss fight, it's the um, the dungeon itself with all the lava and the, the rolling chariots. So yeah, let's go do that. Since we got this gear already ready to go, this boss fight is going to be easily handled with the Bloodhounds Fang and an upgraded pumpkin head, which is rather convenient. So back to chamber outside the plaza here at Red Main Castle. We have to have a little chat with uh, Head Honcho there and then Red Main Castle is going to convert back to its original state at which point the boss fight will be available. First thing we have to do is go out here and head to the north. Let me get rid of this uh, beacon here. Hey, okay, head to the north all the way up. Back into the church where we first used the elevator to get down to Radan. Talk to this guy here. At last, the war festival has ended. Brave champion, you have our gratitude. The celebration was spectacular. General Radan is surely pleased. Festering with rot and crippled by madness, all he wanted was an honorable death. Yeah, well, we gave him one. <laughs> Finally, my work is done. I'm no longer bound to this fortress. I have a task in mind. Old business, you could say. You wouldn't understand. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. You know what? We could not have given him a more honorable death. We killed him with his own... You know, we gave him a taste, a taste of his own medicine with the rain of arrows. Yeah, that was great. So, yeah, um, anything this else? Time I went on my way. Okay, ta ta, see you in the funny papers. Again, if the fates deign it. Brave, Brave champion. champion. Okay, so that's that. Alright, so now all I have to do is just fast travel away and fast travel back. And Redmain Castle returned to its original state. Okay, we're gonna take on a duo boss fight. It's basically a misbegotten warrior and a crucible knight. And like I said, this should be easily handled with um, an upgraded pumpkin head. And the bloodhound's fang. There we go, this should work really good. Debating whether to go with the shield or not. Um, I'm going to go without the shield and just use Bloodhound's Fang and the Bloodhound's Finesse. Okay, so basically, here's the deal we got two guys here. We got a misbegotten warrior who's going to come at us right away. It's kind of like a. You've seen him before. Um, have you? Oh no, that's my prisoner walker. It's kind of like this that man beast kind of thing. He's going to rush us right away. He'll probably engage Pumpkinhead. As soon as he does, um, Bloodhound's Finesse, do the whole combo, Bloodhound's Finesse, follow up, strong attack, and then a couple of quick swipes should finish him off. Then um, the, the knight is going to be approaching slowly. What happens is kind of a toss up. Hopefully he'll engage Pumpkinhead. If he doesn't, um, lock off and run away and get him to engage Pumpkinhead. And then when his back is turned, keep hitting him with Bloodhound's Finesse um, to finish him off. And let's go with... that's pretty good. Actually, let's go heavy on the HP side, just in case, because we're not going to need that much FP. 
for the Bloodhound's finesse. We will need some. Yeah, let's go seven and five. Okay, here we go. You know what? We could use some uh, lightning grease too. Do I have any? I do indeed. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Classical Wonders Physic. Golden Bow. Two hand that sucker. Lightning grease. Refill. Pumpkin head. Got him. Great. Okay, this is kind of a crapshoot, like I said. Let's see if he engages pumpkin head. I <laughs> love it. Engage me. Run away. Refill. Engage his pumpkin head. Got him. Got him. We got you. We got you. There we go. And it gets up the runes. Great sword. And 16,000 runes. Perfect. Perfect. That's just what we need to level up. Great. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm a little short. I am about 300, 800 short. Okay, let's make a little quick trip to the ATM. Well, that went rather well. I did practice that, that boss fight, though. About half a dozen times this morning, experimented with a bunch of different things. First I went with a shield, and then I decided, no, it's just better to go heavy. We are at the point where the, those Crucible Knights, with our upgraded tower shield, and you put, like, Scholar's armament or scholar shield on it we can endure the hits of a crucible knight and even get guard counters out of it um so yeah that was working well but it was kind of a little more tedious than the method i just used but it's a lot of fun doing guard counters on those guys okay so more points into vigor can't have too much help and that's it I just want to spend all my money again. Spend the remaining chump change on arrows. Ah, always a play. I am of a nomadic piece selling That's nice. Okay, let's get to your cell screen. I just hit that by mistake. Here we go. Five arrows. Goodbye. Done and done. Okay, so let's get our Gelmir Heroes Cave gear on again. Which would be the Morning Star, the Bloodhound Claws, Beast Crest Heater Shield with no skill on it, and the Longbow, definitely. Good. Back to the scene of the crime. Gelmer Heroes Grave. Okay, and this time we're going to explore the rest of the complex. And I'll show you another way to get down to the boss fight. And 
a different way to do the opening. Let's see, seven and five. That looks good. Let's just take a uh, pumpkin head out of the roll. We won't need him. Seven and five. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, for this opening part, I'm sure somebody's already posted a comment about this on the previous video, um, and I probably did too in the video itself. Um, you don't have to deal with the first two skeletons. You can just jump right over them and head straight for the second alcove. It's just a matter of knowing where it is. See it way down at the bottom there. See at the bottom, like the first landing, if you look to the right, there's an alcove right there. You do have to jump across some lava, but it saves you having, having to deal with the first two skeletons. Okay, so let's go for it. Run straight down. As soon as they appear, just jump over them. Straight down to the bottom, and then jump over here. Turn around, lock on. Sometimes you can punch them out into the, uh, into the lava, and then the... No, okay, let's do a guard counter. And it's easy to break these guys' stance. And often the other guy comes in like this. This is the problem though. This is one reason why I... That sometimes happens. Suddenly you're dealing with all three of them down here, so whichever is easier, I don't know. But that is an option. Okay, so having dealt with that, took a little heat. <laughs> Pun intended. Wait for this guy to go down here and, and jump across here. Go. And jump in here. This is a funny one. <laughs> Whoops, did you miss me? <laughs> Getting that rundown feeling? <laughs> okay, and this is our second time here, so the archers won't appear down there. So we can just make the run down there to the next alcove. Let's go. Oh, wait, sorry. This is the archers. Whoops, watching up. Get him on the ground to kill him. And now I have to get down to the next alcove there. And this time, instead of going all the way to the bottom, we're going to go off to the left there. As soon as it's safe. And let's go. We're right here and make the jump. Get down here, okay? And just hang out here. Get your bow ready. Okay, now there's a guy just around the corner there. He can give you a real hard time. So let's take care of everyone else first. And then uh, we'll take care of him. And swap out his talismans for the arrows talismans. Okay, so... Arrow sting and arrows reach. And we take care. Don't go past the top of the stairs. And take care of all these guys here. Should be able to one-shot them all. Okay, and even guys way down at the end there. There's, we'll take care of that guy after. There's another guy, if you kind of flick your um, joystick down, there's a guy there. Let's see if we can get him. There we go, we got him. Okay, now this guy here, he's rather dangerous. Let's use precision aim and a mighty shot on his head. And then we're going to do a couple follow-ups right away. He's kind of dangerous. Okay, time for a refill. 
Alright, that just leaves the guy around the corner. We can get real sneaky. Throw some fire pots at him. <laughs> I got four. That should be just enough to do the job. And just in case, let's get this ready. You can see his weapon right there. You, know, you just kind of like free aim around the corner. And let's get our heaviest weapon ready to go just in case he comes around the corner. So, Bloodhound's Fang, get ready to do a guard counter. And let's just throw out a couple of fire pots. See, but what are you doing there, Bullseye? Just practicing. Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down. Oh, watch it. Done. Okay, I forgot about that guy. He's gonna like come at you. Alright, and there's another Glave, Grave Glove Word 7. Don't refill your health because there's a couple of uh, backstabs we can do up there. Using um, the Assassin's Crimson Dagger Talisman. So hook that up right now. There's another Great Glover at 6. I believe this area is clear. Oh, there's a couple guys here. Another great glover at six. And another seven. Okay, so we got lots of upgrade materials for our spirit ashes. Anyways, I'll look at that later because I hear something creeping around here. This guy should be able to backstab him. Get some help back. The flame tower. This is the usual routine with flame towers. You gotta spot it and hit it with some kind of ranged attack. That should lower it. Okay, it's been lowered. And another seven. Alright, so swimming in grave lovers. Two sixes, four sevens. We have enough to upgrade two more spirit ashes up to seven at least. That's great. All right. Looks like we got a backstab here. Yep. Is there a guy around the corner here? Let's see if we can pull this off. Yeah, jeez. I hit the attack button while I was moving. Um, okay. Thanks a lot, Mr. Fumble Fingers. Okay, so. There's a couple of guys here. Which can be a real problem. See that guy right there? Best thing to do is do a headshot and then switch over to your Bloodhound's Fang and finish him off as he comes at you. So let me just take uh, the claws out of the roll here so I don't get screwed up here. Okay, mighty shot, headshot, <laughs> and again. Let me come at you. Dead. 
gun. And there's another one on the other side. Thankfully you didn't notice. Rinse repeat with him. Because these guys can get out of hand. With their fire crossbows. What, are you stuck? Ain't that a bitch. Great, golden rune, and it's time for a little spit shine. Drink up there, bullseye. Okay, there's a stone sword key up there. Um, I don't know if it's worth risk going for. What happens is, as soon as you go up there, the chariot changes and starts rolling all the way to the top. I'm going to try for it. Try to stick in the corner. So, as soon as it starts rolling back down, we got the most time. And go. All the way to the top quickly now. And get in the corner. And it comes up here now. Should be able to make it back down. It comes to the top, turns around, and just chase it down. Oh shit. Uh oh. Whoop. Okay. Bugger. Okay, took some heat, but we survived. Okay, so there's an alcove down there. Let's get ready for some skeletons. That's right. <laughs> Don't you know you should look both ways before crossing a chariot road? Okay, here's the deal. This is really dangerous. Straight down on our side is um, one of those shade enemies that does a lot of bleed damage. And as you can see, the chariot is posing a problem too by rolling all the way down. What we want to do is run all the way to the furthest corner. Okay, you see that uh, like right in the center of the screen there? I don't know if I can peek out a little more here. Yeah. See like there's a ramp there on going down on the left side. We want to go to the furthest corner just opposite there. That's the best place to go. If you go to the near corner, what's going to happen is as soon as you get to the bottom, the, the chariot's going to suddenly decide it's going to go down that way and it's going to roll you over. The safest spot is the furthest corner. Okay. So when it, uh, as soon as it passes by, coming back up, we're going to make a run for it. go all the way down all the way down to the furthest corner I didn't make it at any rate okay so there's our bad boy right there you don't have to deal with him now in fact it's a bad idea Now what we're going to do is 
there's a ledge see the ramp coming down here right next there there's a ledge we can drop down on that ledge and escape having to deal with him from this point here we're gonna kill him later real sneaky way okay so that's the next stop Let's go for it. Straight across here and jump down here. Okay, and around here. I forgot what's in here. Oh, yeah, this guy. Oh, yeah, this is going to give us two armor sets. The Bloodhound armor and the Gelmir armor. This guy we can easily take out with uh, the Bloodhound's Fang. Okay, I'll rest. Okay. Load up those buffs. Okay, Bloodhounds combo. Strike that. Do two Bloodhounds finesses. Uh, sorry, I forgot. Because when you do the Bloodhounds combo, uh, the follow up attack always misses because he jumps away. So, yeah, I remember that last minute. It's a good thing I remember that. Here we go, the Bloodhound Knight Armor. And in here is the Gelmir Knight Armor. Let's get two great new armor sets. Now, climb the ladder. It's time for a rather dangerous jump. Definitely bust up all this stuff here. Grab the root resin. Basically, gotta jump on that rafter there. Watch it, Nick. I find the best thing to do is to jump towards, generally towards the middle. So if you overshoot, you have a chance of still staying on the rafter. Is that a There, I made it. Okay, and get out to the middle like this and you want to aim down towards the lava okay so just position yourself just right and you're going to jump on top of the chariot as it's up here usually I like to jump as soon as it arrives Now we can just ride it. And don't do anything, just stay on it. Yeah. Whee! And you can switch over to your bow. There's just some real sneaky shit here. Remember that shade that we uh, ran away from? We didn't run away from him, we just saved him for a much easier strategy. Okay, so when this comes up. Target him and do a shot. There he is. There, and now it's gonna sucker him into the lava. He went down there. He's, he's smart, but he took a lot of damage. And. He died. There we go. Easiest way to take care of that shade. And that's it. So now we can jump off here. Yeah, we <laughs> I'm taking some heat. 
and grab this guy here. And I believe that's it. At the bottom it's just another way to get to the boss fight. So now we, that we've done everything, oddly enough this is a dungeon where you can actually fast travel anywhere even though you're in the dungeon. So we can just fast travel back to the beginning because we've done everything. And I didn't get that grave, that uh, violet grave or grave fly, violet because you know those are a dime it doesn't. So that's it. Um, we have 10,000 and I'm still alive. Hey, how about the game? The game must have a sense of humor. Okay, so <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. That's uh, Gelmir Hero's Grave completely done. Um, coming up next, we're going to do a Red Main Castle cleanup run. Um, let me just get my finances together. I'm going to go back to um, the round table. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, post a comment, stuff like that there. And I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.